Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So I have been reading about the 2020.48.26 update, the Christmas update, that it would lift the restriction on supercharging speeds. Now, let's see if that is really true. Now, if you have been following me for a little bit longer, then you know that my battery has been limited to 108 kilowatts in supercharging speed. Now, it doesn't make a difference uh, whether or not I charge with CCS or uh, with a regular Type 2. The limit is in the car and in the battery, and it's not dictated by the uh, supercharger. So even at Ionity, I still get capped at 108 kilowatts. So yeah, we're on our way to the supercharger right now, but I still have too many state of charge or a too high state of charge. I'm at 140 kilometers now, which is about 23 to 25% state of charge. I need to be below 20% to get an accurate reading on that. So I'm going to be driving a little bit. That also helps to get some heat in the battery because right now I have a little bit of a restriction on the battery. Uh, or on the region, which means that the battery is too cold. Now, luckily, I'm driving a P100D, which means that I can use the Ludicrous Plus option to heat the battery as well with the onboard heater. I will also be driving the state of charge down a little bit more, so do some highway driving, do some testing in the meantime, um, and then we'll see whether or not my supercharging speed will have increased and by how much. Now, while we are driving the battery down, allow me to introduce a shameless plug here for the Testing the Tesla webshop, where you can find cool new t-shirts and uh, like this hoodie, for example, with the Roadster silhouette. So if you like those, check it out, get yourself a cool t-shirt, and in the meantime, you'll be supporting the channel so I can continue to deliver these videos to you guys. Any help is greatly appreciated. Now it's always fun to have an on-ramp where we can put some additional heat in the battery. So let's go. Ooh, traction control struggling a little bit. But yeah, this never gets old. Launching the P100D is always so much fun, even in non-ideal conditions with low temperatures, wet roads, it's still amazing how it pulls and uh, yeah, I love it. So we have now arrived at the supercharger with 84 kilometers left as range. Now that means that I am below the 20% mark, which is around 91 kilometers for me at the moment. Um, that also means that the Ludicus Plus mode was disabled shortly before I arrived here because it doesn't work under 20%. Uh, but still, I did manage to get about 30 degrees into the battery and that should be enough to see if we get a nice quick charge. So let's plug in the car and see if we can get above the 108 kilowatts. So 
so yes indeed the restriction has been lifted and that is really amazing because not only can I charge to 120 kilowatts again I'm even going above 140 right now 140 will it go higher well 140 is definitely a lot faster than 120 so maybe that's a state of charge thing as well at the moment but 140 I'll take it any day over the 108 kilowatts that I was limited to so right now it's already dropping back to 136 going back to 140 it seems that 140 kilowatts is going to be the maximum that I get on this particular charge maybe in more ideal circumstances it would even go higher than that but um, oh here we go 144 awesome So what I do notice is that the charge rate is all over the place. It's going between 140 and 125 at the moment, going up and down. And it's not really stable, but it is still way above the 120 kilowatt mark. Now I've been charging for about 6 minutes and now it is really staying below the 130 kilowatt mark. So yeah, you do get higher speeds, but it's not that they are lasting for a very long time. Now of course if I compare it to my maximum of 108 kilowatts, which I rarely got, it's more like 105, 106, then uh, this is still a lot better of course. So in uh, six and a half minutes, I managed to charge 66 kilometers additionally, um, which is definitely an improvement over the last time I went supercharging. Now the charge rate has been dropping gradually. And the reason why I didn't get higher than 144 is of course, because the supercharger that I'm currently at is not a V3 supercharger, but one that can already reach 150 kilowatts. So I will be doing a V3 charge as well later on to see uh, if there's any improvement there. But right now, the charge rate has just dropped below 100 kilowatts. It used to be up to 60% that uh, I get the 100 kilowatts. Now it's a little below 50%. Um, now I don't know if that makes up for the difference in the higher charge rate, yes or no. But uh, in any case, I did manage to get a higher charge rate than the limitation that my car was put on last year. So that is definitely an improvement and uh, thank you Tesla. All right, so we learned something new today and that is that indeed the restriction on the supercharging, the DC charging, that in my case was 108 kilowatts, has been lifted and I have been able to charge right now up to 144 kilowatts as said i will do another charge on a v3 supercharger to see how far we can push it but then again i'll have to have like a really low state of charge a really warm battery everything in the uh, optimal condition to make sure that this is uh, given the best chance it gets all right, so as usual, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos. And for now, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.